Do you want to enhance your career with SIM verification activities, but you don't know where to start or how to do it? Or do you verify SIFs today via PFD calculations, but you kind of know that there is much more out there than that? Or maybe do you feel insecure about verifying SIFs, what to do exactly? Well, it does turn out that SIL verification is actually quite a difficult and underestimated task. It is estimated that 99% of the SIFs in the world are actually not SIL compliant. So with this workshop, you came to the right place. In this workshop, we will not only show you how to do verification, but we'll also give you the tools and the templates that you feel that you need to feel confident in the process. But let's talk about that later a little bit more. I started my functional safety career in 1996 at Factory Mutual and then later at TUV. I didn't really count them, but today I have verified probably more than a thousand SIF solutions and I have literally carried out SIL verifications all over the world. With this experience in my pocket, I today feel very confident about carrying out verifications, but I can tell you it was not always like that. Huh? Especially in the beginning, I made many mistakes. I didn't really know what I was doing, and in hindsight, I focused way too much on the PFD calculations. But then, heck, you know, everybody was doing that, and uh, unfortunately, they are still doing that a lot today when they carry out SIL verifications. But that's not really how it works in practice. That is not how you achieve SIL compliant SIFs. So how do you achieve SIL compliant SIFs? Well, before I explain that, I want you to know that what you will learn in this workshop is of course not what industry does today. Because that is exactly how we ended up with those 99% of non-compliant SIFs. What we are going to teach you is how the standard wants you to do verification and what it is that the standard wants you to actually verify. After we explain some myths about SIL verification, we start with real work and that is in reality the definition or the description of the safety instrumented function. If that SIF is not clearly defined, then how can you trust the verification results? Right? The SIF description is at the basis or at the starting point of your verification work. Now, once that is established, then we explain step by step how verification is performed. We will start with the SRS, then we will look at the equipment and the certificates that come with them. We will check the architecture and of course we will also check the famous PFD calculation. But that is not where we stop. Today, there is a lot of software involved and we also teach you how to verify the application programs and other software that is present in the devices. Furthermore, we address the basic safety and the user manuals. And last but not least, we will talk about how to verify, for example, validation tests like FAT, IFAT and SAT. In other words, this workshop addresses everything that is important when it comes to verifying the SIFs before they are installed. Our workshop is actually quite unique because we address everything that needs to be verified, not just what industry does today. We make sure that you feel confident about your verification activities. We have exercises throughout the course. After all, it's a workshop. You're supposed to do some work. Now, at the end of this workshop, you will have also the opportunity to get your knowledge certified. This is optional, but if you do, you will get an online book open exam. And if you pass, you will have your knowledge certified as a specialist in SIL verification and calculation. Last but not least, at the end of this training, you will also get some bonus material including the opportunity to get even a higher level certification. With this higher level certification, you can demonstrate to the world that you are a real serious SIL verifier. Now, before you sign up, decide to sign up, there is one more thing that I want you to know. This workshop is not going to teach you what functional safety means. You need to have the basic understanding of functional safety, otherwise you will not know, for example, what we mean when we say the HFT is wrong, or the SFF is too low, or the certificate does not address FSM. You need to have basic functional safety knowledge to fully appreciate this workshop. Now, take action today and enroll for our upcoming workshop, and we hope to see you soon online, so that together we can make sure that more SIFs in the world are actually still compliant.